We all know that value is the most important part of painting. It creates depth and life and strong compositions. But it's very easy to fuss and overwork the values and end up with a kind of a mush of middle values that makes for weak painting. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I create a strong separation of light and shadow right at the start, which will help give your paintings more depth, more realism, and more life. I'm Paul, a self-taught painter from the UK, and I share the most useful stuff I've come across in my own learning journey that will hopefully help you skip straight to the stuff that helps you make the most progress in yours. So if you struggle at all with values, with composition, with making a strong start, this video is going to help you get those things really clear and concise right at the beginning, keep you from overworking and fussing too much, and help you know when to stop. So I'm going to cover values, composition, importantly edge handling, and right at the end of the video I'm going to have a link to another video you'll be able to grab with a value scale that you can download, um, which will show you exactly how to nail the values accurately every time from a reference photo without any guesswork at all. So the video is broken down into a few different sections through the development of a value study, mostly in time lapse. Every now and again I'll pause it to let you know exactly what I'm doing. And while you're watching, let me know in the comments what you find the most difficult about values, what's the biggest struggle for you, and also anything you found that has helped you get clearer values and stronger starts to your paintings that might help other people who are watching as well. Okay, let's start. So the drawing out is fairly simple here. I'm just looking for outlines of the objects really to state where they are. But notice that I'm also deciding at this point how I'm going to divide each one into light and shadow. Now for the really crucial bit. Now I've got here a Monsell value scale. If you look in the description, there's a link for where you can get this from eBay. And I've selected these values based on the values that I've found in the reference photo. Don't forget at the end of the video, I'm going to have a link for you to find a video which will show you exactly how to do that. So I've got two half inch hog flats here, nice big brushes. And the main point here is just to get the big blocks in of flat value as quickly and as simply as we can. It's important at this point to make sure your brush strokes go in all directions as well to create atmosphere and depth. Now I want you to watch what I'm about to do here because mostly people um, get hung up on painting things and not painting patches of light and shadow. But I'm about to paint right across this spout because if I squint down, I can't really see it. Here we go. Okay, completely obliterated the spout apart from the small patch of light at the edge that we can just about see. Now, I haven't painted any of the lights in yet. I've just painted the shadows, and this gives us a really nice simplified version of the setup. So using a framer like this, a viewfinder, at this point I can try different versions of the composition to see if there's something that I like more, and I could start this again with a different composition if I wanted to. So now it's time to paint in the lights and you notice that I'm handling the half tones here as well because the half tone belongs to the light and that's a very important point to keep in mind to keep your values clear. Often overlooked but hugely important. Watch how I'm softening the edges here to create depth. Now that everything is pretty much established, the value balance and the composition is there, it's just a case of working through the painting until I'm satisfied that I've got in as much detail as I want. It can often be surprising how little detail you need to paint in order to create a finished piece of work.
So if you want to see how I got those value numbers and be able to do the same yourself, click the link here for a video that will show you exactly how to do it and also for a digital value scale which you can download, embed in your own photos that will help you really nail the values.